Hello guys, I'm Kinja here in another Rome 2 online battle. My opponent today is Gman352. I'm playing as Egypt and he is playing as Macedon. This will be the uh, last game in a row where my opponent plays Macedon. By the way, I've played ahead a bit and there will be more uploads where they're playing different factions actually. But as we can see, I've got a basic looking army with not much cavalry. Um, I didn't like the Egyptian cavalry very much, so I didn't go with that. My general unit is in a pikeman unit. Uh, I forgot what they're called now, Egyptian Royal Spears or something. And my opponent has gone for a cavalry heavy army with not many archers at all. He's got some slingers and some javelin throwers by the looks of things. But we're going to get into the battle now and see that now. And as you can see I've popped an ability or something. I don't know why. I'm not sure what I did. I think it might have just been phalanx mode actually. But yeah, I've got four of these Galatian Royal Guards on my uh, flanks. These are really good melee units and I have four of the Hellenic Royal Guards which are really good pikemen. I've got them in phalanx already so the archers ain't too worried about getting the spears through them. They can trust it. And I do have elephants actually. I wanted to see how good elephants were in this game so I bought some African war elephants, African forest elephants. Uh, and I have two units of these citizen cavalry. They're not very good, but they're uh, well better than Greek cavalry were in Rome, let's just say. And I have one, two, three units of mercenary Cretan archers, which are pretty good archers. They're quite heavily armoured, uh, but they don't actually have the range of the slingers that my opponent has. And most of his most of his army are hidden in the brush here. Um, you can see he has three units of. I oh know he has uh, Aspis companion cavalry. They throw. Um, Healer before they go in, actually, and they have two units of Sears and Cavalry. What's all this shit? They got the camels running across here, it's not looking good for them, actually. Ah, they're gonna give up the chase. And over this wing, he has another t he has a new another unit of Aspis and a Sears and Cavalry unit, so I'm heavily outnumbered on Cavalry, so I've got to deal with them quite quickly. And he's actually gonna bring his Cavalry over, as we can see now. And I make, <laughs> I make the giant mistake here. I start charging them and I want to use the uh, charge ability and I actually dismount them by accident <laughs> but they are actually spearmen dismounted as we can see so maybe I should have kept them dismounted but I do mount back up and he actually finally sees this and he's like oh shit I can charge in right here and he does ch indeed charge in and there's the spears going off but I do get a counter charge just in time and I'm going to charge my swordsman in here as well these guys are going to be really good against the cavalry when they're not getting charged down. Like these guys, they didn't they didn't get charged in the end, but they did get charged by these guys. So we lost we lost quite a bit in the initial charge, I think. Let's have a look. Uh, nope, just one. And these these guys only lost two as well. My companion cavalry lost quite a bit, but his his cavalry are losing big time as we can see. His citizen cavalry got slaughtered in the charge, whereas. His Aspis companion cavalry are holding a little more because they're just better cavalry. But he's going to bring these guys out here and I'm going to continue chasing for a while and move my swordsman back into position. And I've got some Hellenic Royal Guards over here just in case they try to bypass my infantry into my archers or something. And over here he's not going to dare fight me because my elephant's chilling around. They've got, uh, instead of three archers as it did and Rome, they've just got a little spear throwing guy and we've got the driver here holding on to the elephant that was the soaring eagle and anyway yeah, he, oh, he charges back in there I forgot about this part and yeah since it's Aspis companion cavalry versus citizen cavalry he does slaughter my cavalry um, I lose quite a lot in that so pretty bad charge I charge my infantry in here and they finish off his Aspis companion cavalry with their spears and then with their melee <coughs> I think he does get some away actually, yeah, he gets all these guys away but they're not much use to him anymore. My archers are firing at them as well. well they should wear. And he realises that these may not be any use to him anymore and so he charges them back in here. I don't know he doesn't charge them back in, I thought he did. <laughs> and anyway, yeah, you can see my archers are firing at him and that horse just had to do a front flip. He's charging them into them now, look. And I don't see this coming, but my guys actually managed to brace themselves, and my archers do a lot of damage, so they're not going to do much damage at all. They're just going to knock my guys back, as you can see there. And killed two units, and that's going to be the end of their cavalry. Meanwhile, my elephants are throwing their spears at these these cavalry units. They're obviously not going to catch them because they're not fast enough, but they quite uh, like being in the desert. They can run quite fast here. 
And he, oh yeah, he, he tried to charge this unit of citizen cavalry into the back. Uh, he had it hidden, I believe, or it was one that came back from Rowan, but I saw it come in. I charged my uh, own citizen cavalry into his and caught him on the charge and slaughtered his cavalry. Uh, obviously, I only lost one unit there, as we can see. <coughs> Nothing much happened to the next minute or so. But I'm going to start moving my infantry up. He's going to keep his in there. It's quite a good position to defend. It's slightly... No, it's about flat, but he's got uh, hidden units that can surprise me still. But they don't. Well, he doesn't have any hidden units to surprise me, but he could. I'm slowly moving my units up here. I'm trying to get into the archer range. They're in archer range now. Uh, but I think they're actually out of range of the slingers, which sucks. Uh, the slingers have more range than the archers for some reason. So I'll move my pikemen in front and start moving them up now. He's got his cavalry, obviously. He still outnumbers me in cavalry. But uh, I've kind of reduced the odds there. And my guys are now charging. I charged these in a bit too early. And they're actually taking a lot of damage from the foot companions here. Because uh, they can't break their phalanx. So obviously some of them here are going through and breaking their phalanx. Uh, but they are going to rout soon. And... I was charging my cavalry and left them over his companion cavalry and actually charged into the phalanx here which is a terrible uh, thing for me to do. But he's got his companions too spread here and their uh, phalanx is going to be broken really easy by my warriors here as we can see most of them in the charge actually managed to run through. And his cavalry and I charge my cavalry down there. I managed to get them into a wedge formation but I don't get the charge off. And my elephants will be joining in shortly. And my phalanx is starting to get into the fight here. He's going to do some hammer and anvil strikes onto my phalanx with his cavalry. Uh, which is good, but it's not having too much of an effect at the moment. But he's not using losing any more foot companions than he was last time. I've got these flank now, so they're actually losing a lot of units. And as we can see, he's lost some slingers. My archers have killed them, and I've lost my cavalry over here. His Aspis companion cavalry are far superior. And my elephants are still throwing their spears, but they're going to be going in very soon. So you can see this phalanx of mine is flanking their phalanx uh, on the side slightly. And here, here here comes my elephants into the fight. Their cavalry have just charged in. Their spearmen are about to rout, so I see it, uh, see it as a good time to get these elephants in. And here we go. Get them in stampede mode, and they start killing everything. Just chilling around the cavalry at the moment. Uh, I've broken his flank here, as we can see, with my foot infantry and some phalanx. And I'm going to be closing in on his general unit over here, which has managed to rout my uh, Egyptian warriors. And I've broken his flank here now. Here's my general unit, by the way. And I'm going to be able to squish these guys into the middle here. And I've got my archers constantly raining arrows down on these guys. at point blank range now, look. And they're actually going to charge in. Yeah, I forced everyone to charge in. I saw he was uh, um, in phalanx, but moving at the side. So I managed to... Uh, stop his advancement and uh, uh, even flank him with one of my units but now the rest of my units can come and flank him here as we we're about to see and I'm basically putting everything onto this one unit here so they are not got long to survive. They're still marching they're, they're following their orders but they realise the elephants are here and yeah well it's never good So this is tab for the strategic view. And he has a unit of cavalry. I didn't actually see these were still alive. He charges them into my phalanx. Um, but they don't do too well, actually. As you can see, my elephant. This poor elephant's got himself in front, but he's just going to run back through here. He's going to tap by all the pikemen, but he tries his hardest. And these are taking a lot of hits here. I don't know where my cow. I don't know where everyone started to go. They've started to chase the horses down by the looks of things. I see that coming. Now they're. I don't know where I ordered them to go. Oh, they're going to going to fight these reinforcements here. They're actually just going to leave these guys. I don't know why. Yeah, I charge him into his uh, Royal Peltists and pikemen that have come back without their pikes. And his general's going to actually just route through the fact that all his army's gone here. And that's going to be GG. So, good game to my opponent and thanks everyone for watching.